It's because it was undeveloped for so many years due to the site conditions. The land west of Whitesburg Estates, mostly trees and swamp, has been left virtually untouched. It's beautiful, it's green. It's nice, it's very peaceful. Mr. Hayes was generous enough to donate some of this land to us. And that means Zane Smith's walking path is about to get two miles longer. Well, I have great expectations for when they'll do this. Right now, Hazelin Road dead ends just beyond Grissom High School. Martin tells me they're going to spend the next two years extending this road all the way to Bell Mountain Park. Martin tells me that's good news if you happen to be a casual runner or a cyclist or for any commercial developers and anyone who wants to avoid traffic congestion on the parkway. But the arsenal people that are leaving, you know, should they take Hazeland Road, could skip four signals along Memorial Parkway, and that seems pretty significant as well. And the project has significant dollars as well. This week, Huntsville city leaders approved $7.5 million to build the two-mile stretch starting within the next few months. In Huntsville, Joel Porter, WHNT News 19.